So I'm gonna teach you how to make mashed potatoes today. Everyone has their own version of mashed potatoes. Mine involves pork belly, but probably mine is the best in the world, but I don't know. No, um, but I make mashed potatoes just the way that I grew up eating them. And you know, when you're making mashed potatoes, you, don't, you can't really think of anything to healthy to do with it. You just go all out, all in. Cream, butter, salt, and why not some thick cut pork belly. I really want to flavor my mashed potatoes with garlic. So what I'm gonna do, and I've done this before, is just, so I'm just gonna remove both tops, take some olive oil, some salt, crack, crack, some pepper from the top. And then you're gonna put that in the oven at about 200 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's all nice, soft, and mushy. Um, next, we wanna work with our potatoes. So I've got our potatoes right here. Um, I kinda boiled these already. I boiled them to a point that you can just basically run your fingers like that and get the, the skin on. What I'm gonna do is just peel them quickly. The best way to do it is rub, actually not the knife itself, because you might remove too much potato, but just the back of the knife. This is, I'm gonna show you how to make a nice, fluffy, yet soft texture. Some people like it soupy, some people like it a bit more coarse. I like mine. Um, baked in the oven from time to time so it, it keeps some fluff and some texture on it. Okay, once everything's peeled, I'm just gonna put everything into a bowl, but before doing so, just give everything, put that into my bowl here. And I think our garlic is basically much ready. It has that nice burnt mush that you're looking for. Now to just cool them down a little, take a glass of water, put the garlic. Once they're nice and cold, I'm gonna take it out and pop it all out. So just by squeezing it, it should come out of the skins. Take that all together, and again, add that into my potatoes over here. And then give that a quick mash. And this is where the fun begins. So we're gonna start with three tablespoons of sour cream. Yes, mother, you've heard that. Some French butter, this is demi sel which means um, has some Nice salt bite to it. Let's start with one huge tablespoon, so that's almost two tablespoons. A good mash. Now I'm gonna add more cream. Regular cream this time, not sour cream. Mm, so good. Mix all that together. Heaven. Some pepper, some salt. So what I like doing is, when you've got a good, nice, thick mash, is actually putting it in the oven for a bit just to have it fluff up a little bit more and dry up. So we're gonna put that in here. So we're gonna leave that for about 10 minutes, should be enough. And now we're gonna do our quick bacon. I'm gonna take some salt, some pepper, some honey, some soy sauce, nice and coated. They're nice and, and thinly cut, so they're gonna cook quite quickly. Put that in there. That sound makes me dance like a fat kid. This is actually the reason I got fat, is because I ate mashed potatoes at three in the morning, I had to throw in some bacon on it, because it was just so good. You want that nice crisp feel. So we're just gonna quickly fry these. So we're gonna make our first turn right now. Look at that color. Yummy. So what I'm gonna do is take my potatoes. And now it's become more light and fluffy, yet still very rustic, which is what I want. Last toss, last taste. I think we're good to go. Get a plate out. Take a nice spoonful of our mashed potatoes. Irish cheddar. A bit more. Maybe a little bit more. And a tiny bit more. Some pepper, salt. We're gonna use a little bit of spring onions here. Bacon just goes right there. And that, if that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will, because that is 
a fantastic dish right here. Pork belly, potatoes, cheese, can't go wrong. I know it's a little sinful, but from time to time you can give in. So please, please, if you like that recipe, if you want to see more, please check out um, the YouTube channel, The Fat Kid Inside, which you're on right now, obviously. And please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next week.